we've been able to successfully seat a jury. The motion for change of venue is overruled. On the first day of the Ray Tenzing trial, Judge Megan Shanahan denied the defense's change of venue motion. Now the prosecution says it wants the same thing. If we're successful in moving this trial to another jurisdiction out of this media market, uh, I think that our arguments will be much more persuasive. Even though the defense tried to move the trial once before, Tenzing's attorney, Stu Matthews, says he is undecided. At this point, I, I'm not going to commit whether we want to change a venue or not, but I am leaning toward saying I'd rather keep it here in Hamilton County since we su successfully picked a jury the last time. Defense attorney Charlie Rickers has been practicing law for 38 years. He represented Ryan Widmer for the first of three high-profile murder trials in Warren County. He says a change of venue is difficult to achieve. From my own knowledge and experience, it's very rare for a judge to grant a motion like that. Rickers says there are benefits to retrying a case for both sides. It allows them to be more prepared and reevaluate their strategy. But they can even do better now that they have heard the witnesses under oath. And once you're under oath, you're stuck with that testimony. Jay Clark, who also represented Widmer, says based on the precedents set in Tenzing's first trial, a venue change can depend on the jury pool. That's kind of the, the whole key to changing the venue is can we get a fair and impartial jury? They found one in less than a day here. So I think it's very unlikely if you apply the law properly that the change of venue would be granted. If you cannot select a jury, that's the best evidence that you need to change the venue. Until then, it's all speculation. Both Rickers and Clark say there is no specific timeline for Judge Shanahan to make a decision. Similar to what she did in the last trial, she can wait to determine if a jury can be seated before she decides on a change of venue. Reporting live at the Hamilton County Courthouse, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.